Hi everyone, and welcome to day two of my online practices. Um, first of all, I just want to say a huge thank you to the um, amazing response that the first video got, the um, sharing online, the kind words, and um, hopefully it's been um, Hopefully it's been something that has uh, helped you through this time so far. Um, again, I would like to keep these videos um, by donation. So whatever this video is worth to you, um, I would appreciate a donation. All the information is below in the notes. So um, that being said, I just want to thank you. Um, and I dedicate this to all of you who need a little extra love, a little extra um, support this evening, evening as I film. So thank you. So settling yourself in. Find that comfortable seat for yourself and right away let your hands find a prayer at your heart. You can let your eyes gently close. And taking a few deep breaths. So, so many of us are healthy as we stay at home for these few weeks, hopefully only a few weeks. And I hope everyone who is healthy remains healthy and that this time becomes just an inconvenience or maybe even a time that we can turn inward that we can have some moments for self-reflection. But it is important to remember that there are people out there who are really suffering. People who are sick. People who are isolated. So this evening, if there's someone in your life who you feel maybe needs that little extra bit of energy, extra bit of love, extra bit of support. And sending your practice upward, sending your practice outward, sending your energy to that person. Letting this practice be a dedication. Breathing in deeply, we chant one ohm. Oh. Your hands can relax down to your knees and your eyes can gently open. Bringing yourself down onto the earth, moving any props out of the way. You can send your legs out in front of you, give them a little shake out here. And then bending the right knee, rotating out, placing the sole of the right foot into the left inner thigh, flexing the right toes, sending the arms high with a breath in. With a breath out, it's a twist to the right, right fingers to the mat behind you. Left hand finding your knee. Low belly drawing in and up to lengthen the spine. And gently gazing back over that right shoulder. One more big breath in. As you exhale, planting the right palm, and it's a stargazer lifting the hips, sending the left arm back behind you. Big breath in. And softly releasing the hips down to the mat. Exhaling. 
And moving to the other side, sending the right leg out, sole of the left foot, finding the inner thigh, sweeping the arms high, big inhale, and twisting to the left as you exhale. Being aware of that right sitting bone, keeping it connected to the earth behind you. Left palm finds the mat, right arm sweeps up and back. Big breath in for your stargazer. And hips softening to the mat, exhaling. Taking your time to crawl yourself out onto hands and knees. Setting yourself up, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. With a breath in, sending the right leg out long behind you and the left arm floats forward. Find a few deep breaths, low belly drawing in and up. Left arm about the same height as your ear. With an exhale, the right knee can start to bend and maybe the left arm can sweep back and find the right foot. If you catch the foot, sending the foot up into the hand and letting the heart reach forward. Breathing in and breathing out, releasing the arm and the leg, coming back to all fours. Planting through that right palm, send the left leg back behind you, right arm sweeping forward. Imagine the left hip spiraling down just slightly. So the toes are pointing down toward the mat. One more breath in here. As you exhale, the left leg bends. Maybe the right foot, sorry, right hand finds the left foot. Sending that foot up into the hand, floating the heart open. Big breath in. Releasing gently arm and leg, bringing yourself back down to hands and knees. Tucking the toes on the breath in. Planting into the palms for your first downward facing dog. And take some time to arrive in this down dog. Maybe there's some movement. Maybe there's some swaying of the hips. Some shifting of the weight. Big breath in here. And as you breathe out, finding stillness. Downward facing dog. Few deep breaths here. With a breath in, the right leg floats high. Exhale, knee drawing toward the nose. And then just lower the shin down into the space between your hands. Left heel to the mat. Right arm grounding, left arm floating for a supported side plank. With a breath in, the arms float up to the sky, lifting through the spine. With an exhale, left hand traveling down the left leg, big lean toward the back of the mat for a gate pose. Breathing in both arms, sweeping back up to the sky, cartwheeling the hands down to the floor and stepping your way back to a plank pose, both legs long, heart reaching forward, Big breath in. You might want to lower the knees to the mat, pointing the toes. Elbows bend and you lower in one piece to the earth. Planting into the palm, shoulder blades slide down for a baby cobra. Breath in. Downward facing dog as you breathe out. The next inhale, send the left leg high. Knee draws toward the nose, gently stepping the foot between, sorry, letting the left shin come down. Spinning the back heel down, left palm down, right arm to the sky. Finding that length out through both arms. With a breath in, both arms sweep high, lengthening to the spine. With an exhale, right hand sliding down the right leg. For your gate pose. 
left rib, left ribs peeling open toward the sky. Both arms floating on an inhale, exhaling hands to the top of the mat, stepping your way back to your plank, heart forward, big breath in. You might lower the knees first, or you might keep the legs straight, bending your elbows and lowering to the mat. Toes point, heart sweeps open for your baby cobra. Downward facing dog with your breath out. Big inhale here, and as you exhale, the knees soften. Take your time to walk forward to your hands. Knees soft as you arrive at the top of the mat. With a breath in, hands to the shins, lengthen the spine. Big breath in. Exhale, releasing, folding, bowing down. Knees soften, left leg steps to the back of the mat, lowering the back knee, releasing the toes, arms floating high for your crescent lunge, Anjaneyasana. Big breath in here. Exhaling, releasing the hands down to the floor, tucking the back toes, lengthening the back leg, and swivel yourself to the left side of your mat, coming into your wide forward fold, fingertips to the floor or to your block, lengthening the spine as you breathe in, and letting yourself fold forward, bowing down as you breathe out. Maybe giving the head a little shake out here. Exhale, let the knees soften and slowly start to round the spine all the way up. So you're coming up to stand, maybe wiggling the feet a little bit closer together, sending the arms high for a prayer. Big breath in. Hands to your heart. Big breath out. Right toes turn forward. Knee bends over the toes as the arms reach wide. For a warrior two pose. Soft shoulders, long spine. Flipping the palms, peaceful warrior, right arm floats, big inhale. Cartwheeling the hands down, step the left foot forward to meet the right foot, find a long spine, breath in. Releasing over the legs, breath out. Softening the knees, right foot travels to the back of the mat, back knee softens, toes point, arms float high for your low crescent lunge. With your next breath out, hands softening to the earth, tucking the back toes, extending the back leg, and then again, walking yourself to the long side of your mat. Coming up onto the fingertips, breath in. This time, you might want to take the hands behind the back, interlacing the fingers. And as you breathe out, head releasing toward the earth as the arms reach up and away. Clasp the hands, you can let the hands release down toward the earth, softening the knees, taking your time to roll up to stand. Sending the arms high for your prayer, breath in, hands at the heart, breathing out. Shifting to warrior two, left toes forward, left knee bends, arms reaching wide. Feeling the energy of the heart extending out through the arms, the hands, the fingertips. Peaceful warrior, left arm rises, big breath in. Cartwheeling the hands down, stepping your back foot forward, it's a long spine, big breath in. Releasing over the legs, breath out. Inhaling here, and with your exhale, soften the knees. Take your time, rolling yourself up to stand. Arms sweep high for a prayer, breathing in. Hands through your heart, releasing your arms by your sides. 
Tadasana. Make sure your feet have a little bit of a separation between them. And with a breath in, send the arms up to the sky. Exhale, we're taking a big swing. So take a swing forward and rise back up, breathing in. Again, like that, bouncing the knees, swinging forward, rising. Last time, like this, swing forward, rising up, breath in, hands to your heart, breathing out. Send the arms back up, inhale. Swing forward, this time stay there. Catch your hands behind your back, interlacing the fingers. See if the heels of the hands can draw a little bit closer together. Almost like you're trying to make a fist with your two hands. Big breath here. As you breathe in, bend the knees, reach the knuckles back and send the heart forward, lifting it off of the thigh. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step your right foot back into a lunge. Breathing in. Downward facing dog. Breathing out. Plank rolling out long, straight or bent legs as you lower down to your belly. Point your toes, rising up for a cobra. Breath in. Downward facing dog. Breath out. Right leg floats on an inhale. Foot steps forward, exhaling. Back foot forward, long flat back, breath in, melting over the legs, exhale, arms rising, breath in, hands to your heart, breath out, send it back up, inhale, swing forward, catch your hands, let your head drop, bend the knees, knuckles back, heart forward, inhale, hands to the mat, left foot steps back, breathing in. Down dog, Adha Mukha Svanasana, exhaling. Plank pose with a breath in, lowering one long exhale. Rising up, breath in, cobra. Downward facing, exhaling. Left leg high, breath in. Foot steps forward, breath out. Right foot forward, lengthening, folding on your exhale. Arms rise, breath in, hands to your heart, breath out. Send it back up, inhale, swing forward, catch the hands, bowing forward. Bend the knees, lift the chest, inhale, hands to the earth, right foot steps back, breath in, down dog, exhale. Plank pose with a breath in, you can add Chaturanga Dandasana or you can lower all the way down. Lifting up, Urdhva Mukha, traveling back, downward facing dog. Right leg floats, breath in, foot forward, breath out. Back foot forward, long flat back, melting on an exhale, rising, breath in. Hands meet at the heart, breath out. Send it back up, inhale, swing forward, catch the hands, release the head and the neck. Bend the knees, let the heart flow forward. Hands to the mat, left foot steps back, breathing in. Downward facing dog, breathing out. Plank on your inhale, chaturanga or to the mat, exhale. Rising, open heart, adamukha svanasana, down dog. Left leg high, breath in. Foot forward, breath out. Right foot forward, open the heart. Melting on your exhale, arms rise, breath in, hands to the heart, exhale. Send the arms back up, breathing in. Swing forward, catch the hands, release the head and the neck. Bend the knees, hips back, heart stretches forward. Hands to the mat, step your right foot back on a breath in. This time it's plank, right away, lowering halfway or all the way. Lifting the chest, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale, breathing in here, breathing out. Soften the knees, look forward, step, step, or hop to your hands. Find a long spine, Ardha Uttanasana. Folding forward, let the head drop. Rising up, high prayer, right away, swing forward, catch the hands, drop the head. Bend the knees, chest lifts up off the thighs. Hands to the mat, left foot back, heart is open. 
plank right through chaturanga or to the earth rising breath in down dog breath out knees soften look forward exhale your way to your hands long spine breathing in folding forward uttanasana arms rising inhale hands to your heart tadasana arms by your sides exhale Chair pose, Utkatasana, sitting yourself back into it. Heart is rising up toward the fingertips. Folding forward with your exhale. Long spine, breathing in. Bend your knees, plant your palms. You can step to plank or you can hop right back into a chaturanga. Moving through your vinyasa. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right foot forward between the hands. Virabhadrasana one. Warrior one pose. Left heel to the mat. Both arms float. Shoulders soft. Neck is long. As you exhale, bring your hands behind your back. Interlace the fingers. Reach the knuckles back and down. Breathing in with an exhale. Bowing forward, shoulders melting inside of your right thigh, devotional warrior, head dropping off the neck. Releasing the arms right up into warrior two, send your left arm back, right arm forward, peaceful warrior, right arm reaches high, breath in. Circle the hands down, step your way right back through your plank, take it through your vinyasa. Left leg high on a breath in. Stepping forward for that warrior one. Back heel down. Let the arms float high. Right pinky toe connecting to the earth. Finding that sensation of rooting. Taking your hands behind you. Other thumb on top as you interlace your fingers. Heart puffs open. Breath in. Bowing forward. Bhakti Virabhadrasana. Devotional warrior. Keeping that connection, right foot into the earth. Up and around to warrior two, right arm back, left arm forward. Peaceful, left arm sweeps to the sky. Cartwheel the hands down, step right back through your vinyasa, exhaling to low. Breath in to rise. Down dog, breathing out. Right leg high with an inhale, stepping it forward. Same beginning, warrior one. Send it high, breathing. Hands behind the back, fingers interlace. Heart opens, breath in. Bowing forward, breath out. This time, lift the eyes, look down at your right toes. Turn your right toes in, paralleling the two feet. And let yourself bow forward into a variation of Prasarita Padatanasana. Big breath in here. Soften the elbows, let the hands release to the earth. Pressing into the feet, rising up to a high prayer. Inhale. Warrior two, turn your right toes out, bending the knee. Peaceful, right arm sweeps high. Inhale. Side angle, elbow to the thigh. Or if you're ready to take it deeper, maybe your fingertips reach down to the floor or maybe onto a block. Left hands to your left hip. Right fingers out in front of you to the floor or a block shifting forward for your half moon pose. Left leg back. Left finger stretching high. Feel the energy of the heart reaching out through the arms, out through the fingertips. Big breath in. Forward fold, left hand down. Step your feet together, release the head. Give a little shake out. Rising up high prayer, breath in. Hands to your heart, exhaling. Tree pose, right leg lifts. 
rotating out and placing the sole of the foot into your left inner thigh, hands connecting at your heart. Soft, steady focus in front of you. Feeling that connection to your heart center, thumbs resting on the sternum. You can stay here or your arms can reach to the sky. Again, feeling the energy of the heart extending up and out of the arms, out into space. Your hands can meet back at your heart if they lift it. Paralleling your right knee, stepping your feet together, finding that Tadasana. Exhale. Sending the arms high, breath in. Folding forward, big bow down over your legs. Long flat back, breath in. Bend your knees, plant your palms. You have your journey back through vinyasa. If you ever want to leave the vinyasa out, feel free to just step your way right back to your down dog. Left leg half, breath in. Stepping forward to that warrior one, back heel down, sweeping the arms, hands connect behind the back, other thumb on top, heart opens as the knuckles reach toward the back, heel folding, bowing down as you breathe out. Lift the eyes just slightly, look at your left toes, turn those left toes in, coming into your wide forward fold. Maybe you have to adjust the feet a little bit to find that parallel. Let the head release. Arms releasing to the mat with an exhale. Pressing into the feet, sweeping the arms high for a prayer. Inhale. Warrior two, left toes turn out, bending that left knee. Peaceful, left arm high, big breath in. Side angle, elbow to the thigh or fingertips to the mat. Heart spiraling up past your right armpit. Right hand to right hip, left fingers out in front of you, shifting forward for that Ardha Chandrasana, right side body getting really light. Exhale, forward fold, let yourself bow down. Arms sweeping high, breath in. Hands to your heart, exhale. Moving into your tree pose on the second side, this time the left leg lifts. Sole the left foot to the right inner thigh, hands connecting at the heart. Feel the left foot really pressing into that right thigh. Right thigh responding, like pressing back into the left foot. Feel free to send the arms and sending the heart up through those arms. Keep your arms lifted, hands back at your heart. Paralleling the left leg, stepping the feet together. Tadasana, exhale, arms sweep high, breath in, folding forward, breath out, heart lifts, breathing in, bend your knees, make your way back to down dog, maybe through a vinyasa, maybe not. Right leg floats, breathing in. Same beginning, step it forward for your warrior one, sweeping the arms high, hands behind the back. Exhale, opening the heart, breath in, melting forward, breath out. Rising up just through the eyes and the heart, look towards your right toes, turn those right toes in, let yourself fold forward, breathing in. Release the arms as you breathe out. Press into the feet. Arms sweep high for a prayer. Inhale. Top of the mat, warrior two. Exhale. Peaceful, right arm tips back. Breathing in. Side angle, elbow to the thigh. Maybe fingertips to the mat. 
You might stay here, or you might play with a half bind, taking that left arm behind the back. Maybe it's a full bind, drawing the right arm under the right thigh. If a bind is not available for you, you leave it out. Everyone take a look down at your right foot. If you have the bind, maybe there's a few steps with that left foot forward to meet your right foot. If you release the bind, it's a forward fold, letting the head drop. If you found the bind, it's bird of paradise pressing into the left foot, drawing that right leg up, up, up as the spine lifts. Maybe the leg extends. If you don't have the bind, it's tree pose. Foot to the inner thigh, hands to the heart. If you had bird of paradise, you can start to let that go. We'll all find Tadasana, stepping the feet together, releasing the arms. Now everyone take your feet wide. So your feet are about as wide as your mat. Turn the heels in, toes out, sending the arms up. Big breath in. With your exhale, you're sinking down into your squat, Malasana. If your heels pop up off the mat, that's totally fine. You might also want to take a block under your sitting bones, just gives you a little bit more support here. Grounding the elbows down into the inner thighs, letting the heart rise up into your thumbs. With your next breath out, right hand comes down in front of the right leg, fingertips to the mat, left arm sweeping up to the sky. Feeling the energy of the heart reaching out through both arms, both hands, out into space, out into the world. And then bringing that back into your heart. Exhale. Long breath here. Exhale, hands to the mat. Start to stretch the legs. You can move any props out of the way as you heel toe those feet back together. Long spine, breath in. Bend your knees, plant your palms, your journey back to down dog. Following your breath. Last round like this, left leg high, breath in. Step it forward, warrior one, floating up, breath in. Hands behind the back, opposite thumb on top, opening the heart, breath in. Melting inside the left thigh, breath out. Lift the heart just slightly so you're looking at your left foot. Turn your toes in. Let your head release off of your neck. Breathing in. Release the clasp of the hands, hands to the mat. Exhale. Pressing into the feet, arms rise. Inhale. Left toes turn out. Warrior two, letting the left knee bend. Peaceful, left arm high, breath in. Side angle, and it's your variation of the shape. Maybe it's elbow to the thigh. Maybe it's fingertips to the mat. Maybe there's a half bind or a full bind. But you find the variation of the shape that works for you in this moment. Looking down at your left foot. Take as many steps as you need. Step that right foot forward, either keeping the bind or releasing the hands down toward the earth. If you have the bind, it's bird of paradise pressing into the right foot, drawing the left leg up. And maybe as the spine extends, the leg starts to float. If you don't have the bind, it's tree pose. Wherever you are, start to soften the shape, stepping the feet together, finding your Tadasana. Feet step apart again so they're about as wide as your mat. Heels in, toes out, arms high, breathing in. Bending the knees, sink the hips low. Exhale. 
Everyone find a big breath in here. Heart rising up into the thumbs. Exhale, left hand to the mat in front of you. Sending the right arm up toward the sky. It's a big spiral through the spine, reaching up toward those top fingertips. Keep some attention on that right knee. Make sure it's not collapsing in. Big breath in. Hands to the mat, stretch the legs, walk the feet back together. Take your time. Flat back, breathing in. Bend your knees, plant your palms, your journey to down dog. Once you arrive in downward facing dog, there's a few deep breaths. Knees soften, eyes forward, step or hop to your hands. Long spine, breath in, folding forward, breath out. Arms sweep high for a prayer. Inhale, hands to your heart, exhale. Drawing the right knee up and in towards your chest. You can either stay here, holding on to the knee, or you can take your right peace sign around your right big toe. Left arm floats high wherever you are. And if you have that toe, you might start to send the leg out in front of you. Uttita hasta parangustasana. And to big toe shape. Now as we start to take it into a twist, you have lots of options. You might bend the right knee and bring the left hand onto that knee, or you might reach down and catch the pinky toe. Wherever you are, let the right arm stretch back behind you. And if you have that pinky toe, maybe send the leg long in front of you. See if your eyes can really turn back toward those back right fingers. Right arm to the sky, eyes forward, and then releasing, stepping the feet together. You can relax the arms, find your Tadasana. Arms high, breath in, folding forward, breath out. Left foot steps back to a lunge, toes to the mat, arms to the sky for a high lunge. Feeling yourself steady on your two feet. Exhale, hands meet at your heart, and take a twist to your right, hooking the left elbow over the right thigh. If you ever need more support, you can always bring your back knee down to the earth. You might want to take the arms wide, bringing the left fingertips to the mat, sending the right arm to the sky, or maybe there's a half bun, Right arm drawing behind the back. Maybe there's a full bind. Left arm under the right thigh. Hands to the earth, wherever you are. Drawing the left knee forward, tucking it behind the right foot, sitting bones to the mat, either staying here with the left knee tucked, or stretching the left leg so you can sit high on your pelvis. Arms high, breathe in. Right fingers to the mat, left elbow to the knee. And taking a gaze back over your right shoulder. Heart is open, collarbones are wide. Counter twist, hands over to the left, soften, release. Rolling yourself up to sit, crossing your ankles, making your way back to a down dog. And a few deep breaths. Knees soften, 
Looking forward, make your way to your hands. Exhale, long spine, breath in, folding forward, breath out. Arms rising, inhaling, hands to your heart, breathing out. Left leg lifts up towards your chest this time. I'll turn and face the camera this time. Again, maybe you keep your hand on your knee. Maybe you reach down, find that peace sign around your left big toe. Wherever you are, left arm rises for length. And then maybe your left leg reaches out in front of you. Keeping that left leg directly in front front of the left hip, keeping it really parallel. The left leg might bend, you might catch the knee, you might reach down, finding that pinky toe, and sending the left arm back behind you for a twist. Left arm to the sky, eyes forward wherever you are. Stepping your feet together, find your Tadasana. Let the arms release, spine is long and free. Arms floating, breath in. Folding forward, breath out. Right leg stepping back to a low lunge, planting into the feet, arms rising for your high lunge. Making sure there's no crunching in the low back. Feel free to give that back knee a bend if it helps relieve any tension there. Hands to your heart and exhaling, twisting to your left. Feeling the heart spiraling up into that prayer. Again, feel free to lower the back knee. To take the right fingers down and the left arm high if you'd like. Or taking any variation of a bind, maybe it's a half bind, maybe it's a full bind. Wherever you are, finding that big spiral through the ribs, the heart. Hands release to the mat with an exhale. Right knee slides forward behind the left ankle, either keeping the right knee bent or lengthening it out in front of you for more space. Arms rise, breath in, and turning over your left shoulder as you breathe out. Exhale and counter twist, hands over to the right. Rolling yourself up to sit. Last time, ankles crossing, making your way back, maybe through one final vinyasa. With your next breath out. It's a child's pose, softening the hips back to the heels. Let your forehead rest on the mat here. And taking a moment to bring yourself back to that dedication. Sending the energy of your heart, sending the energy of your practice, out to someone who needs it. Someone who's suffering. Someone who's struggling. With a breath in, sliding yourself all the way out onto your belly. Forehead to the earth, hands behind you, interlacing those fingers. Big breath in here, and as you exhale, everything floats up off the mat for Shalabhasana, Locust Pose. 
Making sure that it's the heart that's reaching forward, not the chin or the face. With your next exhale, let it release one cheek to the mat. Let the bum be soft here. Maybe give your hips a little shake from side to side. Forehead to the mat. This time, bending your knees behind you. If you can't reach your feet, you can repeat Shalavasana, what we just did. If you can reach the feet, hold on and send the feet up into the hands. As the feet rise, the heart responds by reaching forward and up. Spine is a continuation of the curved neck, is a continuation of that curve of the spine. One more big breath in. And let it go, other cheek to the mat. Releasing the hands, the feet. Maybe give your hips a little shake from side to side. taking your time to roll over onto your back. Feet on the earth, arms reaching out side to side and giving your knees a gentle rock. Windshield wipers. Exhaling knees to the left. Head turning to the right, releasing into a twist. Now keep your palms open here. See if the opening of the palms can create an opening across the chest, across the heart space. Drawing yourself back onto your back. Knees to the right. And head turning to the left. Your next exhale, the left arm comes over to meet the right arm, curling into a ball on your right side. And then taking your time, coming back to a downward facing dog, however you get there. There might be just a gentle step back into your downward facing dog. Maybe there's one last vinyasa that you want to move through. With a breath in, the right leg reaches to the sky. Moving toward pigeon pose, bringing that right shin forward. So the shin is coming as parallel to the mat as possible here. You might want to take some padding, a blanket or a cushion under your right hip if that right hip is hovering off the mat. Lifting up onto your fingertips, letting the spine lengthen. And as you're ready, taking your time to crawl out onto your palms, onto your elbows, and letting your head release toward the earth. Breathing a little softness into the shape wherever you can.
So the shape can definitely get intense. Using your breath to deepen your connection to yourself. to focus the mind to calm the mind and the body Taking your time, bringing yourself back up to the long spine. Moving any props out of the way, sending the right hip to the earth, left leg around in front of you, sole of the foot connecting into the left inner thigh, flexing the left foot, sweeping the arms high, breath in, and then extending out long over your left leg for your Janu Shirsasana. Right hip is connecting to the earth behind you. Right rib cage spiraling down toward the mat. Both arms stretching high, big breath in. And just like the very beginning of the practice, right hand down for your stargazer, lifting up and back, big breath in. Hips to the earth, exhaling. Left ankle crosses in front of right, rolling out onto hands and knees. Last downward facing dog, really soft as you step your way back into it. Left leg high and a breath in. And drawing that shin forward for your pigeon pose on the second side. Padding, using support wherever you need. Lengthening the spine. Breathing in, lengthening the breath. And then taking your time to release, to fold out over your left shin. If your forehead doesn't easily come down to the earth, maybe you stack the hands and fists. Maybe you take a block under your forehead or a few big books, whatever you have nearby. With your next breath in, crawling the hands back, rising up to a long spine, moving any props out of the way, right leg reaching around to the front of the room, sole of the left foot connecting to the right inner thigh, arms floating, breath in, and extending out long over your leg, Janu Shirsasana, as you breathe out.
arms floating, lifting the spine up tall. Left hands to the mat behind you, rising up for one more stargazer. Look at the yawn, breathing in. And hips to the mat, breathing out. Last forward fold, both legs reaching out long, sitting up high on the sitting bones, either onto the mat, or you can always fold up a blanket or take a cushion under your sitting bones for a little bit of extra length. Feet flex, arms float, breathing in. And extending out long, letting yourself melt over your two legs. And drawing yourself back up to sit. And before you head off into your Shavasana, just take a moment to sit, to sit comfortably, to bring your hands back to your heart, to close your eyes, and to bring yourself back to that dedication. When you're ready, you can make your way into Shavasana. You can stay in Shavasana for as long as you like, at least five minutes, to really let the body relax. I hope this has been a good practice for you. And Thank you so much for being present for yourself, for taking this time for yourself. And take this moment to thank yourself, to honor yourself for your effort, for your energy, for your practice, for your dedication. Namaste.